Alright, so this is my new starter build guide. Um, one of the few classes that looks really good without um, any transmog. All the pieces come together very well. Um, it's a Vindicator. It's a dot Vindicator. I mean, of course it's a dot build because that's 99% of what I play. Um, this is the low car killing version, which is going to use um, Storm Strife and Storm Totem. Um, when you are just farming, you're going to use a component for damage instead of um, storm to instead of having storm totem, and you're going to use the Bargle's heart to give you more word of pain uh, reduction. You would take your 16 points out of storm totem and put them into word of pain, and increase word of pain as much as you can um, at that point, um, because it'll clear the room and allow you to do a lot of damage but right before you go to low car reduce the points you have in word of pain and pick up storm totem and swap to the um storm strife which gives you summon burst and plus one summon storm totem um for killing bosses this is kind of your key because you're just going to be kiting the whole time for farming you don't need to be kiting so you're just going to be spamming an ability between your other stuff um Mystic Wraith gives you minus uh, lightning resistance as well as a lot of lightning damage for Stormbox. This lightning damage is part of the stacking lightning damage. It's not the electrocute lightning damage. Um, this one, however, is the electrocute lightning damage, but it gives you minus cooldown on Stormbox, so you can stack more, and it gives you crit damage on Stormbox. So the uh, dot version and the other version get a lot of damage from this, and you can stack more of them because it's minus 0.5 seconds. This gives you more electrocute damage to Stormbox, which is nice. Um, this gives you Raging Tempest, um, which is nice. And it's lightning damage, Aether to lightning damage, doesn't really matter. We're using the Dreeg Sect Legs because it gives us percent offensive ability, and they're really easy to farm. Um, you could craft the legs as well, um, but it's better to save your money for crafting gloves and boots. These... Everything was farmed and crafted uh, on stream. Um, belt, vendor farm. Rings, vendor farmed. Um, and the Wendigo Eye, just like the shoulders, you need to pick up um, a bounty. The bounty for Telexria to get these shoulders. I mean, you can get them from any mob, but basically you add an extra um, hero mob to the map by doing that vendor, that thing. And same thing, you pick up the uh, Wendigo bounty and with the barrel home bosses you can kill that and get this pretty easily not easily but it's not that bad um i meant to change my relic uh i'm sorry i'm using the eye of the storm relic here um i meant to be using the uh what's it called uh relic instead the um inquisitor one or the desolation one i forgot to change this out for both the krieg and the low car kill it drops fairly quickly now, um, honestly. So, eh, it's okay. Um, I also have, like, better belt and better gloves and boots for a different version of this set. But, yeah, overall it's, it's using Wind Devil, Max Out Raging Tempest, Max Out Maelstrom, 10 points Heart of the Wild, maxed out uh, Oak Skin, pushing in here 13 points into Word of Renewal, um, if you can get, if you have the points, you can put 15 in here, but it's, yeah, 13's fine. Uh, 14 kind of sucks, don't go to 14. Um, maxed out in Vigor for the health. Um, one point in Steel Resolve for damage and resistances. This helps me overcap my stuff. Maxed out Word of Agony, because you cover the screen and it's lightning damage. Um, one point in Word of Pain, because you don't have very much fire conversion, and you have... A, a little bit of aether con or of uh, cold conversion here, but you don't have too much conversion, uh, so this doesn't help that much. And as much extra points, your extra points go into death sentence instead, because elemental damage will give you one third lightning damage and twenty per or and thirty percent of the cold damage. So maxed out Aura of Censure, of course, maxed out Inquisitor Seal, maxed out Stormbox, because Stormbox is one of our big damages. Get big Electrocute and big Lightning damage from the Tether. Got big Lightning and big Electrocute plus minus DA from this. Uh, four points in Deadly Aim. Um, it's not really worth it to go that much higher than dead, uh, four points. 
Um, devotions, standard lightning devotions. We're getting fumble with tsunami. Um, yeah, just swap this out for your component weapon when you're doing it. Um, we have turtle shell, of course, as our safety net. Using arcane bomb. Eye of Korvac with uh, Wind Devil. Um, just there. Um, we're putting Inquisitor Seal on uh, Eye of the Storm, so we, you do need to drop Inquisitor Seal even when you're kiting. Having that health regen, and of course, Ultos. Um, it's overall, it's not bad. Without buffs, it's 2800. With Stormbox, this is equivalent to 3000. Offensive ability. Defensive ability, 2,500 is not bad. I could probably get more. Um, actually, I could get more. I drop two more components and I get like another 100 uh, defensive ability. Health, 2,000, or um, almost 20,000. Like at 19,000, it's not bad. We're overcapped on all our resistances, including stun, our CC res. It took a day to farm everything, basically. Like 25 total hours to get everything fully farmed up. And... That means I farmed up extra stuff because I had a lot of other stuff. It's only got 12% fizz res, so it is a little bit squishy. Um, the armor with this version is decent. It's not bad. 95% was 1,700. Um, decent other CC res. Our damage, though, we have 2,000 electrocute damage and 2,600 lightning damage. So it does a lot of damage. Cast speed is good enough to drop everything really quickly. And that's it. Um, next up is the Cronley kill and then the Locar kill. I'll see you for the mid-game version of this. Bye. Alright, here we are at Cronley. I just come up, stand on seal, and just pop Stormbox every time it's off cooldown. And Cronley's dead. Keep your Storm Totems up. And keep your seals up. And just come up here. And just keep stacking Stormboxes on him. Doesn't matter what else you do. And Cronley's finished. Next up is Lokar. Alright, we're at Lokar with the starter build. Um, before you go spawn Lokar, uh, make sure you have all your wind devils up and all your totems up. Drop a few seals around as well. And once you're once you have like a few seals up, then you go spawn. And once your things, okay, there we go. Boom. Got all my stuff on him. You just run away. Keep him around the center. Whoa, he hits hard. Just run away. Run away. Oh. That does not feel good. Try to drop seal whenever you're reapplying all your your deep when you're dropping new totems and stuff like that. That way he does that. But yeah, um, it's a relatively quick kill. Kill, nothing but green gear. We crafted these. We crafted these. You can farm these from a vendor. So, all right. I'll see you next time.